Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create prefab variants in Unity. First, let's begin by creating a new game object in Unity. You can do this by right-clicking in the hierarchy window and selecting a suitable game object from the menu. Once you have your game object set up, it's time to convert it into a prefab. You can drag and drop the game object to project window for that. Now, let's create a prefab variant. Right-click on the prefab asset in the project window and go to create. From the options, select prefab variant. This will create a new prefab variant based on the original prefab. To keep things organized, let's rename our first prefab variant as level 2. Next, let's place the level 2 prefab variant into the scene. Simply drag and drop the level 2 prefab variant from the project window into the scene window. Now, let's create another prefab variant based on the level 2 prefab variant. Then, select prefab variant. We'll rename this new variant as level 3 for clarity. Similar to before, let's drag and drop the level 3 variant into the scene window. Now, let's make some visual changes. We'll add a material to the level 1 prefab variant. Select the level 1 game object in the scene, and in the inspector window, look for the override property for the material. Enable it by checking the box. Make sure to click on the apply all button to apply this change to all child prefabs. You should now see that all child prefabs of level 1 have the new material applied. Let's continue by adding a new material to the level 3 prefab variant. Select the level 3 game object in the scene and enable the override property for the material in the inspector window. Remember to click on the apply all button to apply the change to all child prefabs. As a result, you should see the updated material applied to all child prefabs of level 3. Lastly, let's explore how prefab variants can have unique properties. Modify the shape of the level 2 variant. Notice that this change only affects the level 3 variants, while the level 1 variants remain unchanged. That's it! You've successfully created prefab variants in Unity and learned how to customize them. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.